5 News, Alerting Arkansas, sponsored by American Storm Shelters. Are tornadoes on the rise for Arkansas? Well, when you look over the past 30 years, generally the South has seen an increase in severe weather, especially in the winter months. But let's do the opposite now. Let's look into the future using models to see how will tornado threats change over the next 75 years. I spoke with Dr. Walker Ashley from Northern Illinois University, who has recently finished some research on how a warming climate may change where and how many tornadoes hit the South. So this research began, uh, let's call it five, six, seven years ago, um, with a plan to study what we consider weather extremes in the United States uh, using um, weather models. One piece of that was to examine these rotating thunderstorms known as supercells, which produce the lion's share of significant tornadoes, including deadly tornadoes and uh, impactful hail. A quick pause. Generally, we have two types of tornado setups around these parts. We have the supercells that can create large tornadoes. And we also have what are called QLCS tornadoes, the ones that form along the leading edge of a line of storms where gusts of wind mechanically form a quick tornado. These can be destructive too, like last year's EF3 Springdale tornado. Dr. Ashley's research focuses the future on supercells specifically and their tornadoes because they can be much more easily resolved in computer models. The future, we're projecting increased warming, uh, increased moisture in the atmosphere. You know, all of our, our climate projections suggest that. In fact, we're already seeing that uh, in our current observations. And what we found is, is a, a, a broadly an increase in the number of supercells in, in, a, in a warming climate. We found a substantial increase, significant increase in the number of these events across the eastern two thirds of the United States. But what about here specifically in Arkansas. Arkansas happens to be where we see the greatest positive increase, increase in the number of supercells in the future. So whereas we might have one or two supercell days, you know, historically in Arkansas in a given year, we might be dealing with two or three or four in a future climate. Now that doesn't sound like much, but when you have a supercell day, oftentimes you have multiple supercells occurring at the same time. Each one of those is likely producing significant hail and, and, and in some cases violent tornadoes. So doubling the number of these events in a given year is quite a concern. Our towers extend into green country into eastern Oklahoma. Um, is there a cutoff in your data for the positive anomaly and then maybe negative or neutral? Or where would that line be? But the changes are most noticeable east of I-35, the positive increase in, in um, the number of supercells is, is east of I-35, and you see notable declines west of I-35. We talked about the, the frequency uh, of supercells and how those may change. Can we talk a little bit more about the, the time of year? Sure. And maybe even diurnal changes that you might have seen? We're seeing a shift towards an earlier and more, let's call it a more violent uh, severe weather season if we look at, at supercells. What we see is a, a notable increase, particularly in February, March, and April in the number of supercells. And this includes Arkansas, particularly March and April for Arkansas, a, a, a near doubling. We found that the Mid-South, and this is the most concerning, uh, the Mid-South sees an increase in the number of, of afternoon and overnight supercells in the future. More nighttime storms. That seems to be our speciality around here. And when you look at statistics, nighttime storms are two and a half times more deadly than daytime storms. Just because it's harder to let folks know when things are coming when they're just trying to get some good sleep at night. So more chances of supercell tornadoes, especially in the late winter, plus a growing threat of them taking place at night which is partly due to the fact that during the winter you have more dark time hours than daylight hours. And that's what Dr. Ashley and his team saw in the research where they modeled rotation five to 15,000 feet high into the atmosphere. No matter what severe weather comes our way, we'll always be here to track it for you. Learning more about how tornadoes may change in the future where you live, I'm 5 News Chief Meteorologist, Matt Standridge.